us pray. Eternal God, our Father in heaven, the Father of our Lord and risen Savior, Jesus Christ, the creator and maker of heaven and earth, the author and the perfecter of our faith. On this glorious Easter Sunday, we salute you, O Lord. We thank you that we're able to celebrate once again the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And as we come to commune with our brothers and sisters in Christ, we pray that the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart will be acceptable in thy sight. Prepare us to commune with you. If you find anything in our hearts that should not be, we confess our sins now and claim the wonderful promise that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. O oh Lord our God, in times like these, we need you. In times like these, we need to have a close relationship with you. Oh, for a closer walk with God, a calm and heavenly frame, a light to shine upon the road that leads us to the Lamb. We thank you for what you did, Lord, at Calvary, for your death, your burial, and the resurrection. We acknowledge, O oh Lord, that without the shedding of blood, there is no redemption. But because you shed your perfect, precious blood on the cross of Calvary, your blood atoned for the sins of all humankind. And that included all of us who are listening and watching by radio, television, YouTube. We thank you, O oh God, for your wonderful, wonderful, wonderful sacrifice. Now, Lord, may the words of the scripture be instruction to all of us as we commune with you this day. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, we pray. Amen. To our brothers and sisters in Christ, the Lord's Supper is not just a communion or fellowship between Christians, but a time for each Christian to remember Christ. Jesus set the example for this memorial meal in Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 through 28. We find the scripture and the record. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, the New Covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. The Apostle Paul also wrote to the church at Corinth in the first uh, letter to Corinth, chapter 11, verse 23 through 26. We find these words from the Apostle Paul. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This is due in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament, the new covenant in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Praise the Lord that the Lord God has provided an ordinance of remembrance for Christians to follow. Believers are to remember Christ's love for man as they are reminded of his broken body and his shed blood. The hymnist wrote this great hymn and the phrase of that hymn declares, Jesus paid it all. All to him we owe. Sin left a crimson stain, but he washed it and made it white as snow. The contemporary Bible scholar, Dr. John Stouts, has written these words for our meditation as prepared to go to the table. Christianity is in its very essence a resurrection religion because the very concept or idea of resurrection 
lies at the heart, he wrote, if you remove it, Christianity is destroyed. On this Easter Sunday, as we have come to celebrate once again the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and as we are worshiping in our homes or wherever we are, praise God that Jesus Christ paid it all. His blood atoned for our sins. And because of his blood, we have been forgiven, not just for our past sins, but our present sins and any future sins we may commit. Because as human beings, we have a sin nature. And that sin nature tells us that we can sin at any given time. We can commit sins of omission and sins of commission. But praise be to God. The Lord Jesus paid it all. And the Lord has said to us, whenever we sin, always confess our sins and tell him, agree with him that we have sinned and remember that his blood paid the ransom and that we are sealed already until the day he comes to claim us. Our souls are guaranteed entrance into his kingdom. I encourage you to read Ephesians chapter 1. It's a great chapter that talks about the wealth that Christians have in Jesus Christ. As we prepare to commune, may we remember what Jesus says, as often as you do this, as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. And Father, we thank you that we have the opportunity now, wherever your people are to lead this time of sharing and communing with you, acknowledging that you are our savior. You are our risen savior. You're in the world today. We know that you live because you have saved us and you live within our hearts. And one day you're coming to receive us unto yourself, that where you are, we may be also. Thank you for the guarantee of salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Thank you for our justification, that there is therefore now no condemnation in those who have placed their trust in Jesus Christ. Thank you that you have set our souls free. And if any man be in Christ, we know we are new creations because your word says, all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. We love you, Jesus. Oh, how we love you. We thank you for this time of communing with you. In the name of Christ Jesus, our Lord and risen Savior, we ask this prayer. Amen. Jesus said, as often as ye eat of my body, which was broken for you, and drink of my blood, which will be shed for remissions of sins, you do it in remembrance of me. Let us eat. This is due in remembrance of Jesus. Let us drink the cup. Jesus paid it all. And all to him we owe. Sin left a crimson stain, and he washed it, made it white as snow. And all of God's children said, Amen.